Hello fans, we're here with VMI head swimming and diving coach Bill Nicholson to preview the upcoming CCSA championships. And coach, first off, going into the CCSAs, can you briefly evaluate the performance of both programs so far this year? I, you know, we talked about uh, the upcoming season back in October and early fall, and uh, I felt pretty confident that we had a, a really good group of athletes, not just talent-wise, but um, just in terms of what they wanted to accomplish. And they have backed that up with uh, with an excellent, you know, three, four months of training. And uh, I, I honestly feel I've, I haven't been this confident going into a championship meet ever, and that's even including the years that we were winning the NEC. Uh, these guys are ready to swim fast, and the test sets that we've been doing over the last week and a half show that these guys are ready to swim fast. Um, so I, I think that this team has the potential to be up and down the lineup, uh, one of the best teams the school's ever had on both sides, no doubt about it. All right, certainly the uh, diving portion of the program has taken a huge step forward this year. Uh, talk about what Lieutenant Colonel Porter has meant to the development of Brianna Allard and Dallas Disbro. He, he has been a, uh, a gift. Uh, he, he came on and, and volunteered to help out uh, with, the, with the diving program. Uh, the divers have responded to him. He, uh, he, he's, he knows what he's talking about. Uh, he knows how to push kids to get the best out of them. And uh, we've had good success in the past uh, with diving. You know, we've had four conference champions uh, between 2002 and uh, 2010. Um, but I really feel like uh, having him on board and having a dedicated diving coach has just lifted our diving program up to where I believe it's one of the top three diving programs at the conference. And, um, and so I, it's, it's just been an absolute uh, blessing on the program to have uh, uh, Colonel Porter come in and uh, work with the divers. Uh, the, the, the improvement that, they, that we've seen in Dallas and in Bree and in Nate Myers, Lauren Weinberg, you know, Sabina, they've all significantly improved from the first time they worked with them back in September. Um, and uh, I hope he will stay and <laughs> work, work with the program next year too because yeah, I, I just think he's a phenomenal diving coach and we are very, very lucky to have him on the pool deck helping out our divers, no doubt about it. All right, staying with diving for a second, uh, what does it mean to have two particularly quality divers like Allard and Disbro headed into the CCSAs? It, it's, it's, a, it's an advantage. If you have a strong diving program, uh, they're going to pick up a lot of points for you. At, at your championship meet. There are, there are swim programs out there that don't have diving. And so they're basically giving away two events at the championship meet. And where I feel like we're going to gain, on the men's side, we're going to gain somewhere between, uh, it could be anywhere from uh, you know 30 to 60 points, depending on how, uh, how the judges decide uh, who's going to finish in what place. Um, so it's a huge advantage. I mean, it, it gives, us a, it gives us, us a leg up on any program that either doesn't have the ability to field a diving team or doesn't have any, not bring any divers to the meet. And uh, so, you know, and, and then when you add to that, you have good divers, you know, uh, kids who are improving and care about what they're doing. Um, this is definitely, it's one of our strong, our strong, the strongest points of our program is uh, the, the diving program that we're bringing to the championship meet this year. So it's, it's, a, it's a huge advantage for us. All right. It's uh, been a little bit of a strange year for James Goodwillie, switching over to the more traditional swimmers, but uh, certainly James has got potential to score at this meet. Uh, who are some other key players you think could score points at the meet? Uh, just really quickly on James, this has been the best season when it comes to the training, consistency and the progression of his training since he's been here. And um, I don't think he's ever been in a better place going into the meet. I, I honestly think he's going to swim faster than the championships. Um, he's been working really, really hard. and. We've been uh, working on his breaststroke for his IMs because that was the weak leg. It's always been the, the one Achilles in his IM, and and he, that has vastly improved. And so he, he, he this this regular season has been a bit of a, you know taking one step back to take two or three steps forward. And uh, he he is ready to go. There's no doubt about it. He's going to be a player, and uh, in every race he's in. Um, uh, when it comes to other people on the team, I think Mia Kuniselli is going to swim really, really well on the women's team. I mean, she's already broken a couple school records this year. And um, and she's been pretty beat up, you know, tired from the training and everything like that. And I think she's going to have a big meet. I think Megan Doss is going to have a big meet. Um, on the men's side, I think Matt Dale, Matt Elliott, Kodiak Bowers. Um, I think you might see, you see guys like Josh Shevko sneak into consolation finals in a couple of his races. Um, 
think David Hayes, I don't think he's on anybody's radar screen. I think he's, he's has the potential to have a huge meet in the breaststroke event. Um, so, you know, I, I feel like we're going to be moving up all over the place when it comes to where we're seated and what, where the final result's going to be when the meet's all over with. And um, I, I don't think anybody's going to see us coming. Um, but um, we always get big drops at the end of the year. And uh, I don't think this, I've ever had a team here that's better prepared to get big drops uh, than this group right here. They are absolutely locked in at this point. Um, so I, I, my, our goal is to go and try to break as many school records as possible and score as many points as we can. And uh, I think we're going to do well at both, I think. All right, Coach, that seems like a good point to wrap up this interview. Good luck at the CCSAs. Thank you, thank you. The guys, the guys are going to do a great job, and uh, uh, they do a great job representing the program, the school, uh, themselves. Uh, they, they, they train hard, they race hard, and um, they take pride in what they do. And, uh, and I think it's going to translate into uh, some really good swimming uh, next week. All right. Thank you, and uh, thank you to all the fans for joining us.